Hmm. I bet this mask sucks. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and it's the first unboxing of the year. Hope you guys all had a fantastic New Year's. I hope you're all safe and happy, and you've got those stupid resolutions that you're not gonna keep because no one ever does, right at the forefront, and they become a reality. I do genuinely hope that you guys all become a better version of yourself over 2024. Now, obviously, this is the first unboxing of 2024 and we're just gonna go in nice and easy nice and soft we're gonna be really gentle we're gonna kiss this unboxing on the neck we're gonna whisper sweet nothings into this unboxing's ear I just want to make sure that even in 2024 we still know what we're doing so this is going to be a test run for the unboxings of 2024 now in today's video we have a piece that I absolutely love that for some reason I think not a lot of folks out there are gonna care about this will be a double in my collection but that's okay because because are you really a collector if you don't have doubles? And it's a mask that we are going to be using for the project up front. Now, I've been talking about this project for months now at this point, and it's still not complete, but it's really, really close. I am literally one item away from having this entire project wrapped up and done. Now, when will that be? I still don't know. It could be a week, or it could be another three months. Who knows? So, your best bet to see this project is yes, I am doing Doing this again because you guys aren't listening. Well, some of you are, and I appreciate the ones that do. For $5 over on my Patreon, you can see all kinds of stuff. $5 a month. $5 is like what most people spend on a coffee in the morning every single day. This is a lot better than coffee, and it won't make you shit your brains out 40 minutes later. <laughs> Might make you come though. Whoops. <laughs> so go sign up for Patreon, support the House of Masks, and get all of the cool rewards that you could ever imagine for just $5 a month. Treat yourself, it's a new year. All right, let's go ahead and stop wasting time. Let's get on into this package. This is a piece that I purchased secondhand from my buddy Ryan over at Man Behind the Mask. And it was just something that he tossed up for sale in the House of Masks hangout and I shot him a best offer. We worked a deal and now I have this piece. This is a very special piece to me. Again, I don't think a whole lot of people out there are gonna think that this is the coolest thing in the world, but that's okay because I've always shown what I like and I've never really settled into trends, so deal with it. And that's the bottom line. What? Cause Stone Cold said so. All right, this is a vintage piece, of course. We wouldn't be sticking it up in that project if it wasn't. And what we have here is, give you guys the first look. What we have here is a vintage Distortions Unlimited Mini Vampire with the tag still attached. Very, very nice. Get it? It sucks. Like the mask sucks because because the mask is a vampire and they suck blood. So like he sucks blood. Like not not sucks like the mask is bad. Like like it's a really good mask. Um I love the mask, but like it's a play on words, like a play on like sucks, like sucking blood, like he sucks blood, but like it makes you think that the mask is going to be a bad mask, but it's not a bad mask. It's just a it's just a funny like a funny little joke, um, having to deal with the word sucks because he's a vampire and vampires like notoriously suck blood. So like saying that, that I bet this mask sucks. It's like, uh, it's just like a funny way to like get your attention and make you wonder like what's wrong with the mask. But in reality, there's nothing wrong with the mask. It's a really good mask. Um, but it's a mask of a vampire and vampires suck blood. So like, the mask sucks, you get it? Now obviously I've seen photos of this thing, I haven't seen it in person yet, but this is the copy that you want. This isn't a newer gin or a Chinese knockoff replica that are massive and lost a lot of detail and have a crazy weird shiny paint job. These are the ones. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, isn't the mini vamp this thing? And yes, you are correct. There are two different versions of the Distortions Unlimited Mini Vampire and this is by far the most common version. 
However, the one that is the least common is hands down one of my all-time favorite masks, so I would say that it is a cooler mask than this one. It's a little more on the Nosferatu side rather than a Dracula side, but it was also used in theatrical music, so it has its ties to the House of Masks outside of me just being a massive Distortions Unlimited fan. That mask was actually made famous, or just slightly better known than it being a distortions mask. Anyways, that mask was used by Mushroom Head. Way, way, way back in the day when Mushroom Head still had some sort of originality in theatrical music, they were using store-bought masks, and that mask was actually used by the bass player Murder Nickel. I believe that he cut the teeth out of that, but other than that, it was a totally stock version of the other Distortions Unlimited mini vampire. But I've covered that mask to death on this channel. I have an abundance of vintage copies. I actually have so many that I let one go recently. Sold my actual stage used mushroom head version to a mushroom head fan friend of mine. Kind of regret it, but you know, we gotta spread the love around here. If that was a stage used slipknot mask that he only cared about because it was from a certain company and not because it was stage used slipknot masks, I would hope that he would do the same for me. So yeah, what we've got here is the other version, the far more common version, the Dracula version. And I still love these things. As you can see, they are still pretty similar. Very, very similar lips and teeth. We've got those really prominent kind of gummy worm looking fangs up at the front and that is my favorite part of any of the Distortions Unlimited mini vampires. I love the way that Ed did the fangs on them. Something about the really crude sculpt with the really soft rounded kind of, they look like gummy worms. These gummy worm fangs and then the paint that Ed would do on top of them that gives them their actual true shape is just something else. So this is a fantastic piece, a nice little addition to the DU collection, as well as the project that we are working on up at the front. And I love these things. I don't think I'll ever not buy them when I see them for a good price. And you can find these on eBay from time to time. I believe that there are a few copies up on eBay right now. Some of them are in horrible shape. Some of them aren't too bad. But one thing is for sure, I think that all the ones that I've seen on eBay right now are overpriced. I got this for $55 shipped if that gives you some sort of gauge on pricing and what you should be paying if you want to snag one of these. There are new copies out there. I don't know if they are still in production, but they are not real. They are Distortions knockoffs. There is a company in China that is absolutely just making these horrendously. They've recasted them and then tried to size them up and they look fucking silly as fuck. I would never ever want one of those in my collection. So stay away from those. Find yourself a vintage copy until Distortions breaks these out of retirement if we can get that to happen. And then you guys can have old copies, new copies, but real copies nonetheless. So that is going to pretty much do it for today's video. Thank you guys very, very much for being here. I truly appreciate it, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Here's to 2024. Now, as always, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of this piece to let you see all of the beautiful, beautiful detail, and that'll be that. Until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and yes to minivamps, and we'll see you guys in the next one.